Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan. Today we will discuss how we can create the channel for current flow in MOSFET. MOSFET is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. MOSFETs are used extensively in integrated circuits design. So before going to the channel creation, I will explain device structure. So here you can see two figures. First one is perspective with 3D view of MOSFET and second one is cross-sectional view of MOSFET. So let's explain this cross-sectional view first. So here you can see gate terminal. So below the gate terminal you can see SiO2 layer so this is called silicon oxide or insulator and these are source and drain regions so we have two n type doped region this is source and drain so because this is n type MOSFET so source and drain both are n type do doped regions so here you can see this one this is layer of SiO2 silicon oxide which separates the source and the drain terminals so here you can see uh, this black terminal so uh, this is basically metal placed on the top of SiO2 or silicon oxide. So uh, this is called gate electrode. So this one is gate terminal, this is source terminal and this is the drain terminal and this is channel region. So because this is uh, n-type uh, MOSFET, so here you can see the fourth terminal that one is the body terminal so this is p type substrate here and this one is uh, the perspective or 3d view of mosfet so in the 3d view you can see uh, the same things source gate and drain terminals and this is the channel region and again the, these are n plus diffusions on the source and drain because this is n type mosfet so here you can see the p type body okay operation with zero gate voltage so uh, what will happen when we don't apply any gate voltage so with zero gate voltage so here you can see two back to back diodes exist in series between drain and source terminals so here you can see these are back to back diodes so it means that there is no current flow so these back to back diodes uh, they prevent current conduction from source to the drain terminals and here you will observe very high resistance so these uh, uh, this device is basically in cutoff region when we don't apply any gate voltage. So there will be no channel here. So how we can create the channel for current flow between the source and drain terminal. So uh, I will explain it in uh, six steps. So question what happens if source and drains are grounded and positive voltage is applied to the gate so uh, basically uh, the answer is this will uh, form the inversion layer or the conduction channel between the source and drain terminals but how uh, i will e explain it in uh, six different steps okay uh, so uh, we start applying uh, vgs or uh, the gate voltage uh, at our great uh, gate terminal so here you can see this is the plus vgs and source and drains are grounded 
okay so this is uh, the positive gate voltage here you can see uh, so uh, this positive gate voltage or VGS will cause positive build up of positive charge along the metal electrode so here you can see uh, these are the positive charge so uh, this build up of positive charge will cause uh, free holes to be repelled from the region of p type substrate under the gate so here uh, you can see so this will uh, basically uh, uh, repel the free holes from this uh, region so this type of migration will result in uncovering uh, the negative bond charges originally neutralized by uh, the free holes okay so here uh, you will see uh, these uh, negative uh, negative bond charges so here uh, a lot of negative charges will appear uh, the positive gate voltage will also attract electrons from n plus source and the drain region into the channel so here uh, uh, this is uh, basically uh, uh, source terminal uh, and the source region and this is the drain region and uh, uh, this positive voltage will also attract electrons from uh, uh, these uh, n plus uh, regions okay so here uh, you will see a lot of electrons appear between this source and the drain terminals okay once a sufficient number of these electrons accumulate n n region is created connecting the source and the drain uh, region so uh, when there will be enough electrons accumulate so here uh, we will see uh, an inversion layer or the channel between the drain and the source terminals okay uh, this basically induced channel between uh, the drain and source terminal uh, is also called inversion layer okay so uh, when we will uh, apply the positive uh, drain voltage here so it will uh, the current will flow from here to here okay so uh, this is basically uh, the mechanism of operation and uh, this path uh, will also provide the path for current flow between the drain and the source terminals okay so uh, this is uh, the mechanism of uh, creating a channel uh, for current flow between uh, the drain and the source terminals okay so our mosfet is a device where we apply the gate voltage and control the current between drain and source terminals okay so this is uh, uh, the operation of uh, uh, creating channel uh, in mosfet for uh, current flow okay uh, so here are some important concepts like uh, uh, threshold voltage, field effect, uh, effective or overdrive voltage and oxide capacitance. Okay. So what is uh, this threshold voltage? Vt. Uh, Vt is uh, basically the minimum value of VGS required to form a conduction or conducting channel between drain and source. So typical uh, range is between 0.3 volt to uh, 0.6 volt okay so this is uh, basically the threshold voltage and uh, what is the meaning of this field effect when we apply this positive VGS an electric field develops between uh, the gate electrode and the induced channel okay the conductivity of this channel is affected by the strength of the field Effective or overdrive voltage is the difference between 
BGS applied and BT. Okay, so here you can see this is BOV, this is effective overdrive voltage. So it's the difference between BGS minus uh, VGS and VT. Okay, so it's VGS minus VT. So oxide capacitance COX is the capacitance of uh, parallel plate capacitor per unit gate area. Okay, so COX is epsilon naught x divided by T naught x. Okay, uh, so uh, this was uh, the mechanism of uh, uh, operation of uh, MOSFET and uh, how we can uh, create uh, the channel for uh, current flow between uh, the drain and the source terminals okay uh, so this was all for today uh, thank you very much for today uh, see you next time